Hi, I'm Matt Patterson, Enterprise Reporter with the Oklahoman. We're back with a Christmas-themed edition of Zoo Tales with Erica Buckwalter mm -hmm. and Candace Reynolds from the Oklahoma City Zoo. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for of having course. us. Happy holidays. Happy Merry Christmas to you guys Thank and Happy you. New Year. It's it's depending on your perspective, it's almost over or it's here. <laughs> so. That's true. But I Very know, true. I yes. know uh, <laughs> if you're stressed out by shopping, there is light at the end of the tunnel. That's right. It's um, coming to an end. And I know you guys are still, there's still stuff going on at the zoo, even though you won't be open on Christmas, right? Right. We are Chris closed Christmas Day. But other than that, we're open uh, regular hours, 9 to 5. So I know a lot of the kiddos are home right now. Parents are probably and, ready for that break. And you will not be getting uh, a break. Okay. No. <laughs> no. They come no. to see Erica. Um, <laughs> bring we, your kiddos. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> bring your kiddos to the zoo. We do day camps before Christmas. So this week, after the holidays. So basically, whenever kiddos are on break, we're at the zoo giving you a place to take them. And what goes on? I mean, can you talk a little bit about what kids Sure, might do? yeah. We have half day and full day camps, so you have an option whether you want them off the whole day or half the day. <laughs> um, it'll be an animal themed lesson. They'll meet a critter, go on a zoo tour, snack, things like that, make a craft to take home, keepsakes. Mm -hmm. And you have some fam also some family themed stuff coming up. Yeah, definitely. I am so excited. We have a brand new program that we're doing. Um, it's actually a series called The Paw Jamma Party. Emphasis on the paw and the critters. But Love basically it. what it is, is a program where families are encouraged to come to the zoo and um, spend, you know, about a half an hour or so learning about one specific animal. So they'll learn about an animal, we'll read a story about it, meet the animal friend, and then have milk and cookies. And I've got a little sneak peek. Um, every month people won't know what animal we're going to show, but it'll be a different one from the last month's. But this awesome. month, okay, we're going to do frogs. Oh. And so we're going to read Prince of a Frog, and I did bring an animal Cute. friend for us to see. Okay, Erica, I'm that person. It's called Pajama. Can you wear your pajamas? Absolutely. Oh. I, I encourage it. Mandatory. I will be wearing <laughs> That's my kind of program. <laughs> I'll be wearing leopard pit footy pajamas. Oh, I love yes. it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now, is that a book? That, that's not a zoo-produced book, right? That's just a, it's a... No, I just think it's book. one that they use yeah. for, with their curriculum. Um, they have... Oh, my goodness. Hi, friend. Wow. <laughs> so this is Neptune. It could be one of the animals that we meet at that pajama party. And Neptune's a marine toad. And so they're native to Mexico, but you can find them in Hawaii and Florida. And so basically we'll be looking about their bodies and learning what they eat and pretending that we are frogs and toads. Oh, fun. Um, you'll notice that I am holding a napkin under, or a wash that's rag fun, underneath yeah. because um, they do squirt water. A lot of people think that they pee on you, and that's you know what we're told. You know They're going to pee on you, and you're going to get a wart. Um, but what it is, they have water sacks right oh. there on their hips. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they have water sacks on their hips, and um, because amphibians have to stay moist, they'll squirt water out of their backside and then get back and roll into it to keep oh, their skin okay. moist, or they'll squirt a predator. I'm not a predator, but need to make sure I stay dry. So with that same, you know, in Oklahoma, the marine, these are not native to Oklahoma, no. obviously. Mm -mm. But would a regular toad, would that be water sacks Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Okay. So yep. it's a myth, essentially. It's a myth. They, they are not peeing on you. It's the water sacks. Okay. It's a defense mechanism or a way for them to keep their skin moist. What's well, the marine part? I mean, do they, I mean, they don't obviously live in water the whole time. Right? They're but called marine toads, and I'm not exactly 100% on that. They're also called cane toads. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, they reach, originally come from Mexico, and um, they, in Australia and Florida and uh, parts of Hawaii, they have cane plants where we get our sugar cane from and there are beetles that eat it. So somebody thought that it would be a really great idea to bring these marine toads from Mexico um, to these places where they have cane plants to eat the cane beetles. But where do you think the beetles live? At the top of the plant. Oh, where is this animal going to live? At the, bottom. at the bottom. Beetles are awake during the day. These guys are nocturnal. Oh, that's just, so it just wasn't a good plan to good begin myth. with. Yeah. Um, and these guys are voracious <laughs> eaters. They will eat anything that they can fit into their mouth. Oh. And the thing that they have on them, so right behind their eyes, those two sacks that you see on either side, mm -hmm. yeah. those yeah. are um, they're sacks where they have toxin. It's called a bufo toxin. And when they're in Florida, Hawaii, and um, Australia, the toxin is not something that native animals can digest. So they're killing off our predators, like cats mm -hmm. and dogs mm -hmm. and whatever might eat them, and then they're eating everything in sight. <laughs> The, the toxins, are they not harmful to humans though, right? They or, can be. 
Okay. Um, so we're very careful with it. It's not a touch animal. It's a look animal. Um, but it can be if it gets into a uh, soft tissue place like your mouth or your eye or what, something. What would be the effect? Would just your, just... It's a paralytic. I'm not sure what could happen, but it probably wouldn't be good. So I'm okay. not going to get it in yeah, your let's, eye. Let's not yeah, do that. no. Let's not do it. We're going to refrain. Yeah. We're just going <laughs> to. Neptune, is that you are impressive. Size? He's full size at this no. point. No. Oh, no. He's mm -mm. Okay. We've got another one that's, I'd say, one and a half times this big. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a big toad. Um, and speaking of, you know, frogs and toads, you know, we've got lots of those species here in Oklahoma. And coming up on January 14th, we have our nature loving um, toddler class where parents can come learn to take their kiddos out in winter so they're not getting stir crazy and basically learn about fun nature things that they can do with them. And the best part about it is it's meant for you and your kiddo, and um, there's a parent portion and then a combined portion. And during that parent portion, we'll watch your kiddo so that you can actually learn things to do with them, and we'll babysit. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good parenting tools there. That exactly. Be able to, to put into use. Exactly yeah. right. Very All right. Nice. Provided child care. I love it. Exactly. Yeah. Let's put Neptune perfect. away. Okay. Right. Bye, Bye, Neptune. Neptune. <laughs> <laughs> um, Speaking of the zoo and new additions, you guys yeah. have had some uh, recently, and one of them was the African. Was it painted? Is it painted dogs? Or? African painted dog. And that's a, people think dog. Well, that's not endangered, but these are pretty rare animals. They are. They are critically endangered, um, and we had a litter of 14 puppies born in November. Uh, mom Zena is doing great. She is just being a fantastic mom. Uh, the puppies right now are in a den box, so they are not um, on uh, view in the habitat yard. But um, I think we've got some video. Yes, so oh, yeah, yeah. talk about puppies. Oh, puppies. Um, and this is uh, Zena's fourth litter at the zoo. It was also the largest in our history. I mean, it was just. That's 14 is huge for 14 even a regular is huge. dog. 14 huge, yes. And it was two days of labor, so I'm like, oh, oh mama. <laughs> you, she was well a good done. Girl. Yep. Well done. Yes, exactly. So we are loving these puppies. Um, the caretakers are able to watch them. They're keeping an eye on them 24 7 um, with the video cameras that are in the den box. And uh, something pretty exciting coming up on January 5th, they're going to have their first puppy wellness exam, oh. which is very important. So all 14 puppies will be making their way over to the Joan Kirkpatrick Animal Hospital. Um, there were some pictures earlier, you were seeing a puppy in a, in a bucket. Uh -huh. Well, that's, um, that's kind of a good way for them to transport them uh -huh. and uh, to help, um, you know, they're a little bit of wiggle worms. So it kind of helps with weighing them. And um, so they'll be weighed, get a complete um, look over by Dr. Jin and the team. And um, so we're very excited about that. And it's an opportunity for guests to see because it'll be right there at the animal hospital. So, you know, we have our, our exams are, we open those to the public. You can come and see through the viewing windows and see what's happening. And yeah, I've watched a yeah, few. Yeah, of them yeah there. so really good. excited about that one. I mean, 14 puppies is going yeah, to take a while. It's going to take a while, Did, absolutely. Is Zena the one that had the puppies a while back that had the golden retriever had to get Yes, okay. yes. And um, in the video we saw just a minute ago, she, her, the litter right before this one, those pups are about a year old. She is letting them come in and kind of help babysit. So, which I'm mm -hmm. sure she's like, there's Please. 14 of them. <laughs> Please come Distract. in and help. Yes. And um, the the keepers have uh, noticed uh, with the video, the the one-year-old dogs will kind of lay their whole bodies in front of the, the door because there's two little puppies that are just really kind of curious and they're like, no, you need to stay in. Stay in here where it's warm. It's interesting she's feeling the parenting this round and was not. Yes, it is. It we is don't interesting. don't have any idea why, but that's. No, we're just, we're it's, very, it's um, we're just very, we're thrilled. We're thrilled at how well she's doing and the puppies just seem to be, um, very healthy and uh, this is great and, mm -hmm. and it is so great for the species because um, like we said they're critically endangered and um, we've had great success with that uh, uh, SSP which is a species survival plan and breeding program at the Oklahoma City Zoo. Yeah they're really cool dogs not available they for adoption. Are. No, oh, ab no. It's not something you'd want in your house. A little different no. there. <laughs> very wild. And the giraffe uh, calf. Is that yes. the correct calf? Is that right? Giraffe calf. Yeah. Yes you are correct. Um, our little guy if you will i mean he's what five and a half taller feet than i am tall. yeah. yeah sorry erica <laughs> i already got you beat um this little guy he is just i mean darling and everybody's loving him so far if uh it's 55 degrees or warmer 
and sunny, which, you know, I think we've got some potential with the holiday uh, break. You never know here. You never know in Oklahoma. He will be outside in his habitat yard with mom Ellie and his aunts, so you can see him, and, and his sister Julu. And um, we actually had, somebody got a picture of him and they shared, <clears throat> and he was jumping. Like, just kind of. Oh, a, is that him? Yes, just a Cute. straight up excited jump. So, I. You know, a lot of fun. Just, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's all these new arrivals are just they're fantastic. What Very else? Exciting. What else do you have coming up? Um, so for the holiday season, we have two for one Tuesdays. That's a promotion that we have going on where it's buy one get one free on Tuesdays um, in December, January, and February. So take advantage of that over the holiday break. Um, come out and see us. Like I said, we're open nine to five every day. So I mean, if the weather change warms up, which like we said, it's Oklahoma. You never know. <laughs> Come out what and walk was it, around. Sixty six on Friday, right. and then <laughs> yeah, I minus know. ice planted hot. Sixty six and Saturday. minus three. You know. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully, we can all find that happy medium. Um, but yeah, I encourage everybody to come out and walk around the zoo. I mean, it, we're beautiful all year round, and it's always really cool to see the zoo through the seasons. And winter is a really exciting one. And um, I mean, you'll see the snow leopard a little more active. And red pandas. Red pandas. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we got it. We had a. A video of Lotsie the other day playing with a stuffed animal. Yes, he was just, I mean, talk Rolling about all over yeah. it. had some energy to get I, rid of. <laughs> I, I think a lot of people think summer, spring, and those are great times too, but really, if you want like mild winter days, are really seem to me to be the best if you want they a lot are. of activity mm -hmm. going yes. on. Out absolutely, there. absolutely. And then just kind of the last thing I would say, um, you know, you were talking about that. Christmas is almost here, and um, but if you have that last minute shopping still to do, think of the zoo. We've got some great gift ideas for you. Um, zoo memberships make fantastic mm -hmm. gifts for anybody on your list. Zoo gift cards, um, animal paintings, wild encounters. You can um, use, uh, use zoo gift cards for those experiences. So we can help you out. You don't even have to go to the mall. Forget them all. Yeah, that's Forget them all. It's probably still, probably a little late for Amazon Prime still, so we can help you out. <laughs> exactly. So, there's a really nice um, orange elephant day bag if anybody. Oh, are you dropping some hints? Uh, we'll uh, um, <laughs> I would like that for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? You might you might get it. You, you might. Know. I'm going to post never this know. to my family. Yes. And once you get closed on Christmas and closed on New Year's. Closed on Christmas and closed on New Year's okay. Day. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So. Very good. Yeah. Erica Buckwalter and Candace Reynolds from the zoo. Thanks for coming in today, guys. Thank you, Matt. Of course. Thanks for having and us. Merry Christmas. To you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.